okay so here we are going to see uh, how does the cluster serves the purpose of high availability uh, like if there are two nodes participated in the cluster how does it uh, ensure that one of the nodes when goes down or for any reason goes offline how does the other node takes over the services and keeps the uh, keeps the sql server state alive so yeah we can just go and see that here i have I have four virtual machines connected uh, in my laptop here uh, created my laptop this is the domain controller nothing oh sorry this is the domain controller nothing to with this this is just the administrative domain i have connected these three nodes to this domain but i have only configured failover cluster between these two nodes dev n1 and dev n2 i'll just go and show you all this right here so you can see here this is the failover cluster manager uh, you can see the status of the cluster here the name of the cluster is dev cluster and it is showing you like we have two clustered roles and two nodes participating in this cluster you can see the roles the mstc service and the sql server service both are currently hosted by dev n1 this is the virtual server name sql server name and these are the uh, supportive this is the data disk and this is the log disk and these are the dependency sql server and agent so all are currently hosted by n1 and you can see both the nodes are up here right now and in the same is the case for all the disks all hosted by the n1 this is the data disk log disk this quorum the heart of cluster and these are not configured yet for any use so uh, uh, these are the networks the private and the public network the private serving the purpose of heartbeat connection between the nodes and the uh, other one for uh, the communication uh, to the outside network for the third parties for the application string connecting from other sources so you can see our cluster is very healthy there are no errors no failures uh, no warnings so but that's a very 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 good configuration you can you can uh, see the state of the cluster you can manage the cluster from the other node as well you can see from here as well the same thing because both of these are participating in the cluster so you will just probably see the same thing from the other node they have n2 you can see both the services running by n1 at this time both the nodes are up all the storage disks are hosted by anyone at this time so we can we can we can go and try to fail our or or first of all let me show you how to connect to the sql server we actually the name of the server is dev n1 it's not uh, a soap but the virtual name of the sql services uh, here is a soap so So we have to make sure to give the virtual name and not the name of the server. So let's try to connect. So we should give the virtual name here and see. Okay, see. So you, you see that it's connected. Right. So we have, this is what I wanted to show you now. Let's go and try to do the failover. Let's go and try to uh, do the manual failover actually to and to both the services uh, it's pretty fast because it has not a lot of dependencies just depending on the IP address so it would not take that long but this is dependent on the virtual name the virtual IP address the the servers the data file log file leaks right and yes the sql server and the agent as well now you can see they have all failed to n2 uh, the disk should also be failed to n2 uh, you can see here both the nodes are still up uh, these two disks are already failed up to n2 and uh, it's not necessary to fail these as well anyway we can fail that as well select node because this is not the dependency right now so anyway so currently they are now hosted by now n2 now what happens if for any reason n2 goes down you can see here as well all of the roles are currently now 
hosted by n2 down on origin n2 you know, for let's say for any reason n2 goes down we can go and restart restart this uh, uh, this server so we can see this in the demo here okay let's go power restart guest restart now come to the n1 and see currently is hosted by n2 right so how how does it get affected okay see so you can see now right uh, n1 is starting to host the server now and making sure uh, you don't have any uh, any timed out or like uh, the application doesn't get uh, no connection masses so you can see now the services are back online so how fast it is it actually depends on the quorum settings and the network resources the network as well so you can see we are still connected to the sql server we don't have any any issues connecting the sql server i don't have anything anything here right now so this is what i wanted to show you this is called actually high ability even if one server goes down you can see the event 2 is down but still the sql services are up and running uh, we don't have any problems for the applications all the users are back online uh, in fact they are they are always online maybe they will get a fraction uh, milliseconds or even seconds of uh, downtime but uh, they will not even experience that right so this is how cluster serves the purpose of high ability even if one of the server goes down the other server takes out the services back and the services keeps running so yep uh, okay so this server is coming back online so either way uh, the, uh, we don't have any problem here the the the, serv the services is up and the sql services are running you can see the state of okay so we have one activity now it is saying was removed from the active failover cluster though and two the cluster service on this node may have a stopped or whatever okay so yeah this is this is what we wanted to have one event right because anyway this n2 was down you can see in the status of node here uh, okay yeah i think this is already up now oh yeah this is already up so now you, the the cluster is able to ping that server so anyway this is what i wanted to show you hope this would be very helpful uh, thanks guys please let me know if you feel this really helpful and for any suggestions uh, thanks guys